Can you get breast cancer whilst pregnant? Yes, unfortunately you can. And today I'm going to be talking about the incidence of breast cancer during pregnancy, how it can be detected and the challenges we face when we treat it. The term pregnancy associated breast cancer or PABC includes a diagnosis during pregnancy, a year after delivery or at any time whilst breastfeeding. So how common is breast cancer in pregnant women? Well, it is the second commonest cancer after cervical cancer. It is estimated that it occurs anything between one in a thousand to one in 30,000 pregnancies, and it accounts for 0.2 to 3.8% of all breast cancers. The average age of patients affected by breast cancer in pregnancy is between 32 to 38 years. And because women are giving birth increasingly later in life, it's been suggested that the incidence of pregnancy-associated breast cancer is expected to increase. So what are the signs and symptoms? Well, actually they are the same as in non-pregnant women. The commonest presentation is a painless lump. However, there are some challenges in diagnosing breast cancer in pregnant women. When pregnant, many changes affect the breast. The breast increases in size, becomes swollen, and the weight of the breast can in fact double. And this is because during pregnancy, the levels of estrogen, progesterone, prolactin, and chorionic gonadotrophin rises. This causes marked ductal and lobular proliferation. All of these changes can make clinical examination and radiological investigation of the breast more difficult. Pregnancy-associated breast cancers seem to be more commonly triple negative breast cancers. They tend to be larger in size and are more likely to have distant disease. Unfortunately, Breast cancer in pregnancy tend to be diagnosed at a later stage and is associated with worse prognosis. And the reasons behind these factors are not fully understood, whether it's because of the advanced stage of diagnosis or whether it's because of the tumor biology, it is still unclear. If you have a lump in the breast during pregnancy, does it always mean it's cancer? Well, the answer to that is no, it doesn't. It definitely does not always mean it's a cancer. There are many other possible causes of lumps in the breast whilst pregnant or even after pregnancy. And these include fibroadenomas, lactating adenomas, cysts, galactoseals, abscesses, amongst others. These are all benign conditions. And in fact, 70 to 80% of breast biopsies performed during pregnancy are benign, which is extremely reassuring. So please don't panic if you have found a lump in the breast and you are either pregnant or have given birth. The majority of the time, this is nothing to worry about. So what tests would you do? Like anybody for um, a breast lump that comes to the clinic, they will have a triple assessment, which includes a physical examination, some form of scan, and then a biopsy if needed. An ultrasound scan is very good at distinguishing what lumps are, whether it's cystic or solid. And we can also perform mammograms should it be necessary. Mammograms are safe to be performed in pregnant women with the use of abdominal shielding. If the lump needs further evaluation, then as always, a needle biopsy can also be safely done. If you want to see whether the cancer has spread to other parts of the body, there are further imaging that we can use, but they are always aimed to minimize exposure to radiation. We can use an ultrasound scan to look at the liver and the pelvis and a chest X-ray with shielding to look at the chest. In cases of advanced disease or suspected metastasis, then diffused weighted whole body MRI without gadolinium can be considered in the first trimester. How about treatment? Planning treatments in patients who are pregnant should involve a multidisciplinary team. And this includes an obstetrician and an anesthetist. Now, what do we do treating the primary tumor with surgery? This should not be delayed because of pregnancy because of the risk of spontaneous abortion is highest in the first trimester of pregnancy, surgery may be deferred until after the 12th week. The type of surgery should be carefully discussed with the patient. Breast conservation surgery or a lumpectomy is generally not recommended during the first trimester of pregnancy. And this is because radiotherapy is contraindicated during pregnancy. If you have breast conservation surgery, then radiotherapy will be recommended, which will have to be delayed until after delivery therefore increasing the risk of local recurrence. Mastectomy, on the other hand, can be done during any trimester, although reconstruction is usually advised to be delayed until after delivery. Axillary clearance has 
usually been recommended as the surgical of choice in the axilla or the armpit. How about chemotherapy? Chemotherapy is contraindicated in the first trimester of pregnancy, and this is because of the risk of fetal malformation as well as the risk of spontaneous abortion. Women with aggressive disease and are node positive may have chemotherapy after the first trimester. If someone has no negative low risk disease and the benefit of chemotherapy is 5% or less, then chemotherapy during pregnancy is usually avoided. If someone has no negative but large cancer with unfavorable prognostic features, then a discussion will be had between the patient and the doctor. Endocrine treatment or anti-hormone treatments such as tamoxifen and letrozole are not recommended during pregnancy. And this is again because of the risk to the fetus. Tamoxifen unfortunately has been known to cause spontaneous abortion as well as fetal malformations. What if it's a locally advanced cancer or inflammatory breast cancer? In this scenario, prompt treatment is vitally important. However, this has to be balanced with the safety of the fetus. Chemotherapy is the first line of treatment, and as mentioned earlier, this is contraindicated in the first trimester. Termination of pregnancy is a topic that will have to be discussed. Risks of delaying or withholding chemotherapy treatment should also be discussed. So as I mentioned earlier, 80% of biopsies of breast lumps in women who are pregnant are non-cancerous. However, any lumps or abnormal breast changes should get checked out. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next episode.